تعد انتم كنا نجيبكم من 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 افريقيا عشان تكنسوا الشوارع انا انتم عبيد اصلا اعطيناكم وش عشان اذكر من الصومال يا العبود So there's this beef between humans and Somalis on TikTok. I've been seeing the lives, uh, but I'm Somali. Of course, I don't speak Arabic. I come from far people. We don't really speak a lot of foreign languages. I wasn't even allowed to speak English at home. So obviously, I didn't understand Arabic. Uh. So today, I met some friend, friends of mine who did, and they brought me up to speed. Apparently, Yemen are claiming, Yemenis are claiming that we claim them, that we claim Arab, we claim in Yemen, and they're embarrassed of us. Uh. And they're also claiming that they colonized us, that they're colonized Somali cities, they're claiming our culture, they're claiming ancient artifacts that were found in different parts of Somalia as theirs because it's from the time that they ruled us. Delusional people, right? So, people are creating new timeline, new history on TikTok. So, let's check them. In order for Yemen to colonize me, Somali, they would have to be a powerful nation, right? So let's look at the list of people that colonized them. So you have the Ottoman Empire that colonized Yemen. You have the Persians that colonized Yemen. You have Ethiopia that colonized Yemen. You have the British, which I can't really score a point over them because you also got colonized by the British. But it says also other Arabic nation. It says others. That's how long the list is that they had to say others, okay? What was I doing? when you were being colonized by the Ottoman Empire. I was a powerful sultanate that was equal partners of the Ottomans. You were their subject. You were colonized by the Persians. I was a powerful sultanate when you were being colonized by the Persians. I encountered the Persians. They didn't colonize me. They colonized you, okay? So, most importantly, Ethiopia, my neighbor, went over across the sea came to you colonized you in your own land you know how long me and Ethiopia have been beefing since the beginning of the 15th century they couldn't manage to conquer me and i was their neighbor but they managed to come across the sea and colonized you we me and Ethiopia, somali and Ethiopia do not have a good history okay but kudos to them because they're an african nation and i'm an african nation and that is something that I can literally claim over you. So it's embarrassing for you to talk to me. At what period, what century, what timeline did you ever got the chance to breathe for you to colonize me? Your entire history is other people occupying you. Your history is other people's history because you were taken over and passed down by so many different people that they had to say others. It's embarrassing for you to talk about me. So let's move on to a different subject that they touched on, which is religion. As a Somali, I took Islam in the 7th century. Majority of the Arab nation, almost all of them, were not Muslim when I accepted Islam. They were chasing the Prophet وسلم, trying to analyze him when I became Muslim. You, particularly Yemen, went back to your pagan practices when the Prophet وسلم, died. Abu Bakr had to send military to basically bring you back to Islam. They can even argue force. That's how much, you know, you're not loyal to your faith. Please, of all the people that you can pick a fight with, do not pick a fight with me as a Somali because it's really beneath me to argue with you. You and I do not have the same history. Am I going through a rough patches right now? But honey, pick somebody on your own sides because it is embarrassing for me to respond to this kind of...